little update for you on our chicken situation. I have our mama chicken over there with six little babies, six little chicks. Now originally, when I first saw her sitting on a nest, she was sitting on seven eggs. And then about a week later, there were three more under her. So I wasn't sure, number one, how many would hatch out, how many were fertilized, and how that would work being as three eggs showed up about a week later. Um, I didn't know if they'd all hatch out at the same time. I didn't know if this original seven would hatch out at the same time. But we do have six chicks and we got her transferred over here as soon as they started to hatch out. I think there were three chicks that hatched out really close to each other. They were all, they weren't fluffed out yet when we saw them one evening. So we took a box, made up a little box and we took her whole nest. Let me take you over there and see if I can get you a picture of it. We took her whole nest and stuck it in that box. Now we did this in the evening while she was sitting on the nest. And how I did it is I took a piece of aluminum, a thicker piece of aluminum and stuck it underneath the nest and kind of picked the whole thing up with her on it and the chicks underneath her, pulled it out of the chicken coop and put it in this box and then walked it around. My wife picked up the chicken tractor here and we just kind of put it underneath. Mama Hen didn't even fuss when we did that. She didn't move. She kind of fluffed up her feathers a little bit, but didn't try and peck at me or nothing. She's really, she's really used to us. And I think that's a key. If you're ever going to try and move a mama hen that's broody, I think you have to have chickens that are used to you being around, used to you picking them up. Not that I pick up the chickens a whole lot, but my kids constantly pick up the chickens and pet them. My daughter's trying to train one to sit on her shoulder. I don't know what the deal is with that. But it did come in handy when we were moving mama hen here into this chicken tractor. She didn't even put up a fuss, nothing big, no big deal. There are some people that say if you move your broody hen when she's sitting, she'll stop, she'll abandon her nest. She did not. She actually hatched out. Like I said, I think there were three chicks hatched when we moved her and she has six now. And you can kind of see how the eggshells are lined up on the one side. When we moved her nest and all, all the eggshells and the chicks were sitting underneath her. And I don't know what happened to the other four eggs. I have no idea. There's a bunch of eggshells kind of lined up on the side in there, but the other four unhatched eggs are just gone. So maybe mama hen eats them. I, if you know what happens to them, fill me in, put it in the comments, because I have no idea what happened to those eggs. We were thinking we'd have to take them out after she stopped sitting. We'd have to take the eggs out so they wouldn't go bad and start stinking, but she must have done something with them. I did pick up some starter food, some chick starter food, and just sprinkled it in there. And I know Mama Hen's gonna be super hungry, so she's eating a lot of it, but we've got plenty of food on the ground in there. I didn't want to put it in a bowl because I want them to, I want Mama Hen to teach them how to kick at the ground and find their food. So it's kind of what she's doing is just kicking at the ground and moving a bunch of dirt around, teaching them what to do. We've got a little water bowl over there, getting kind of dirty because they're jumping in the whole thing, feet and all, but they, they're learning how to drink out of the water bowl. They've, uh, they've got the whole thing down. They're a day old right there. Still really tiny. Some of the other chickens are a little curious as to why they get fed food when these other guys have to go out around the yard and look for bugs. And I do have the vents open on the greenhouse, so we've got a little wind travel through here. I'm kind of sweating because I'm sitting right in the sun baking through these, uh, these clear panels. But I made sure and put this chicken tractor over in the shade where they wouldn't get any direct sun so they wouldn't get overheated. And uh, they seem to be doing all right. This is the first time we've had a hen hatch out our chicks. We've always bought chicks before and kept them in a tub with a heat lamp and then fed them a little watering bowl and a food bowl. So this time's a, a little bit different. Like I said, no food bowl. Hopefully mama chick teaches them what to eat and what not to eat. We did put some gravel, some really fine gravel over in the one side over here. So they have something to help them digest food. And then all this chick starter food sprinkled all over the place. So they have plenty of food to eat. I'm going to clean out that water bowl here in a minute since I get off this video camera, get in some fresh water. I have done a bit of reading on having a mama hen raise your, your little chicks. 
And they say that if your mama hen is pretty high on the pecking order, you should be able to let them go, let them out with the rest of your flock at a younger age than if your mama hen is at the lower end of the pecking order because the other chickens will come and pick on the, on the little chicks and the mama hen won't really protect them. But as far as I can tell, this hen is pretty high on the pecking order. None of the other chickens ever bother her at all. So we've got a couple chickens kind of running around, checking things out, but I think they're mainly just looking for that food that they're getting for free in there. So I thought I'd give you a little update on the chicks, how they're doing, how many hatched out, six new additions. I don't know how to tell if they're a rooster or a hen. I guess we'll figure that out later. But uh, there they are, six little chickies running around the chicken tractor, at least for the next few weeks. Kind of play it by ear, see when we let them out. Take it easy, guys.